determining smallest ionization energy. Which of the following elements has the lowest ionization energy? So taking these five elements, we're going to find out which one has the lowest ionization energy. So we would use our periodic table and we can use the periodic trends that we know that ionization energy increases when we go from left to right across a period and decreases when we go from top to bottom. So we know that we're decreasing in that direction. And so to make sure that we get the smallest, I'm going to also put here that we know that when we go from right to left, it decreases. So doing the opposite of what it does when it goes from left to right. So it increases in this direction, but it decreases when we go in this direction. And so I'm going to take a look at my periodic table. I have Na, I have K, so those are further to the left. So that's going to mean that the ionization energy is pretty low there. And then we're going to have B, Cl, and F which are going to be at the on the right side of the periodic table. So if I were to draw it right here, Na and K are in this area, and K, B, R, C, L, and F are in this area. So we know that it increases as we go this way. So we don't want something that increases. We want to make sure that it's smaller than that. So N and K, Na and K are pretty much our only options. So we can cross out B, R, C, L, and F because those have higher ionization energies because their atomic radii are really small and it's going to be hard to take those valence electrons so it's going to mean there's going to be a high ionization energy. So Na and K are our best bets so we go to Na and K and we see what happens when I go from Na to K. So Na is higher than K and so that must mean that K has the lowest ionization energy because we know that when we go from top to bottom, so when we something is higher than something else, it must have a higher energy ionization energy. And we're looking for the lowest one. So K has to be our answer to this question.